this is Dr. Naim again, your favorite OBGYN. Uh, we're going to talk about ruptured ovary and cyst today. Uh, it's uh, very common uh, to uh, have this problem. Uh, uh, as I told earlier, uh, ovary uh, makes small cysts, uh, corpus luteum, they rupture and uh, the eggs comes out. Uh, usually the small cysts, occasionally they don't rupture and the cyst can get bigger. Uh, when it's bigger, it's usually fluid inside. And when the bigger cyst ruptures, uh, that water, when it touches the abdominal area, is very painful. So a rupture cyst can be very painful, but usually the pain results within a uh, couple of hours uh, or maybe a day maximum, uh, and the fluid gets resolved. Uh, occasionally when they rupture, there could be some bleeding also involved, and that blood is actually more painful when it touches the bowel uh, and the peritoneum, so it could be very painful. Uh, but the bleeding almost always stops by itself, uh, if somebody comes to the hospital and we check the, with the ultrasound, there will be some fluid. If there's a question of bleeding, we usually watch the patients. There has been cases that a patient needed a surgery to stop the bleeding from a ruptured cyst, but again, almost always uh, it starts by itself and there is no need for surgery uh, on a ruptured cyst.